If you as a man were to go down to the justice of the peace, you would be amazed of how many men are willfully gambling with their life, signing up for a third party family court state issued marriage license. You'd be surprised at how many men don't know the statistics, the rate of divorce. You're going into it thinking you're the exception as a man, but the reality is the statistics still apply to you. With almost 50% of marriages ending in divorce, and out of those divorces, 70% of those are filed by women. And if your woman is college educated, the statistic jumps up to 90%. You'd be a fool not to doggone learn from people who have navigated this before. Just recently, we see Tom Brady's wife announce their divorce, only for that to come to an abrupt halt because she thought she was gonna cash out. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, first and foremost, there are a lot of men that are part of the passport bros. They're part of the MGTOW. They're part of the manosphere, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But I'll tell you the Most High has always placed a high regard towards marriage. He tells us to honor marriage among all, tells us to keep the marriage bed undefiled. You know, for the provision of women to have a covering, the Most High Yah says in that day, seven women would take hold of one man. And the Most High Yah gives us instructions on how we are to conduct ourselves in marriage. The problem is, you know, is not that women are all of a sudden you know, money hungry, very uh, self-centered, selfish, manipulative. You know, that's not anything new. It's just women are taking advantage of a system that has always favored them. One thing I'll tell you as men, it's very important. If anybody wants to know, this is a Reed's Crab Ginger Beer non-alcoholic but it's got natural ginger in it and got a couple of ingredients in it none of that uh that fancy stuff that you cannot pronounce in the ingredient list great great little beverage if you want something carbonated okay but women are taking advantage of a system that has always favored them you know a woman will take the kids up in the middle of the night broad daylight you know, take your kids, take that court issued marriage license, state issued marriage license that is truly the head over your family. Go down there and cash in on that savings bond because that's what it is. Nowhere biblically do you see that a man and a woman are supposed to get a marriage license issued by the state. This stuff did not come about until miscegenation laws, you know, to stop whites and blacks from marrying. I encourage you to go look this up. So why do I say all that? I say all that to say that people have been getting married well before state issued marriage licenses. And social media is definitely help bringing the light to expose some of this uh, thirstiness of these women as they try to jump ship and then take everything you have as it is legal based upon the family court system. Man, as a man, I'm here today to tell you not to let the state issued marriage license cases deter you away from marriage, i.e., I said, 
do not let these state issued marriage license divorce cases deter you away from marriage. Marriage is a covenant between a man and a woman, you know, amongst the most high. You know, well before then, when we look biblically, marriage is consummated by sex, not a piece of paperwork. And as long as you consummate the marriage, you know, via sex and fulfill your righteous duty in that union, you are good to go. You know, when we think about the biblical roles and responsibilities outlined in the Bible for a man and a woman in marriage, you'd be better off making your marital uh, agreement based upon that than using what uh, this family court system that will allow two women or two men to go get married. They'll allow them to go get the same license you got. Ain't nothing different about it. We are in a daytime and hour where men have to adapt. Men have to adapt. Man, when we look at Tom Brady, you know, wife of 13 years announcing their divorce. Her name is Giselle Badunchin. I'm probably jacking that up. OK, and what we're seeing is the typical smear campaign, the typical I'm the victim you know, we, we, we've seen this. We've seen this with Tyrese, you know, uh, ex-wife, money gouging. Men, it's time to adapt. It's time to adapt. You can get married. You can have the little ceremony you want. You know, doesn't have to be. I've done videos talking about the more you spend on a wedding, statistically, increases your chance of divorce you can have a small wedding say for instance if you did want to exchange rings and all of that stuff which is all unbiblical you could do that at what point as a man do you start navigating around the hurdle instead of running up to the same hurdle being the family court system and saying you know what i give up you know, oftentimes there's not enough information out there for men, you know, to, to learn how to navigate this stuff. And oftentimes the market gets flooded with don't get married because these women will take advantage of you. You see what I'm saying? A woman could take advantage of you even without a marriage license. You could go to work one day and she didn't moved all your stuff out, you know. But when we look at Tom Brady and his wife of 13 years, man, she was fine when he was signing those uh, re-up contracts, you know, millions and millions of dollars. But it wasn't until, you know, he retired. It wasn't until he retired to where they would start having to live off of a very nice, very nice, might I add, fixed income. And I'm talking about a very nice fixed income that's well be uh, uh, above what the average person lives. Wasn't good enough for her. She was by his side when, when, when the spotlight was coming. These women are jumping ship. Whether they are women in the spotlight or just random women in your community. They are jumping ship. And as a man, you are going to have to adapt you're gonna have to adapt bottom line point blank period you know and when we look at this you know she was fighting to get a lot of his assets only to find out abruptly that the assets were in his mother's name when you think about cash money and their their song back in the day, I got everything in my mama's name. Tom Brady actually did it. And he's getting shamed. <laughs> Women are shaming him. How dare you do that? You know, man, you got to adapt. This is a cold game. This family court system ran by these Romans, ran by these heathens is a cold game game it's based upon 
a gynocratic society. It's based upon a matriarchal system. As a man, if you go down there and hit yourself in a, a, a third party, which the third party is the state, you're basically just a, a, another woman in the in the marriage. And the state is married to you and your woman. Married to the state. This is why they can rule over and have headship and authority in your house. You know, men truly need to think about, you know, having a trust. Having a trust and forming a trust. That way you can avoid family court system. You can avoid probate because the common argument from women is, well, we won't be left anything if something happens to you. And a trust would do away with that. But any given time, based upon a trust, you know, uh, a trustee can remove somebody off of the trust. So the minute a woman start uh, going unhinged and going off the rails and you find some uncleanliness in her biblically, now you can just remove her from the trust. You got revocable trust. You got irrevocable trust. You got living trust. All these different kind of trust that you could take advantage of. You know, another one is men. Don't mix your money with a woman. If you are a provider, live in that, embrace in that. Do not mix your money with her money because via the court system, when you mix your money with a woman's money, now everything becomes community, communal property. I don't give a dang if you got $20,000 in the bank and she put $1,000 in there and you guys are making transactions out of that account, it becomes communal. Listen to what I'm saying. You know, you got men out there that are, are currently married. And I would tell you, you know, you probably need to have insurance in certain areas because we are told to have insurance on everything else in life. Health insurance, you know, car insurance, home insurance, all of this insurance. But nobody has insurance on marriage. Men don't oftentimes women have the insurance. The insurance is their marriage license. Today, man, I'm just getting your gears going about other options you have as a man. Make your own agreement. You know, tell a woman, yeah, I'm down. I'm down with with, with, with marriage, but I'm not down with family court marriage. We make our own agreement based upon what this book say. If you you truly love God like you say you do, shouldn't have no problem fulfilling this. You know, oftentimes when you read biblically, the, the, the Christian church cannot help you through a divorce because their pastors will require that you get a state issued marriage license before they marry you, all of which is unbiblical. And you cannot even uh, adjudicate matters of divorce based upon how the Bible says do it because you got to go seek out, you know, the rule of the judge. You know, Tom Brady you know, still is going to lose some stuff, but he controlled how much suffering he would have versus this woman taking dang near everything he has. But I tell you, there's truly ways out there. There's men out there that are married without a marriage license and their relationships or marriages are thriving because they have figured out how to be the head. The most high y'all would have it that you are the head of your house. Not the state of Tennessee, not the state of Nebraska, not the state of Oklahoma, not the state of California, not the state of Texas, you know, not the state of New Mexico. So you have to think about that because a woman is less likely. See, one thing social media has taught these women when every time this stuff goes public, it gives women the courage to say, you know what? I'm about to get my freedom too. jump ship, think the grass is greener. And oftentimes there's plenty of videos talking about these women regret their choice. This woman of 13 years married to Tom Brady, she's going to jump out there, you know, think that grass is greener and be in the same situation as a lot of these other women. Think about it. There, there ain't been nothing that came up that said he was doing this and doing that and doing all no. men. You have to adapt, you know, Make sure you are the head in the way you have structured your union. This is the difference between 
uh, Tyrese having a state issued marriage license and his doggone ex-wife demanding twenty to forty thousand dollars a month in child support. Tyrese said, I didn't even spend that much on my kids when we was living together. But here she is, you know, uh, Samantha Lee Gibson cash grab. See, when you get out of that family court system, that that uh, marriage license, when you bypass that, guess what? If a woman does not have any legal, legal ties to things that you have worked for, established and built, she's oftentimes will second guess just up and root, root, uh, up and leaving out of nowhere. You know, that's the difference between you setting the terms and saying, hey, you know, uh, this is how our custody agreement is going to go versus somebody else telling you how it's going to go versus her making up a narrative versus her making up a narrative to where you're the villain, you're the bad guy. All of a sudden you're abusive doing restraining orders, protective orders, all this foolishness. And you like, where did this come from? Now you can say, OK, well, guess what? You know, this is going to be the agreement. This is going to be how we're going to uh, make sure the kids are taken care of. If you don't like it, you can leave the kids with me and kick rocks. Statistically, the kids are better off with the father than left out to the mother. This is stuff you got to think about, men. You can go through the the rituals and stuff that they they be doing. You see the little marriage ceremony and all of that stuff. You can you can do all that if you want to exchange rings and all of that stuff and, you know, have a little honeymoon. You can do all that. But don't go down there and sign that marriage license. You got to start seeking out ways as a man to be able to navigate around these hurdles. Man, if I know there's a roadblock, if I take the same route that I've been taking and I see other people traffic backed up, why would I go that same route? Why not take a service road? Why not take uh, the scenic route? You have to structure yourself for success as a man. Stop telling these women how much you have, what you have, you know, stop pillow talking these women. Your responsibility and duty in marriage is to provide for her, to be a spiritual covering, a physical covering, a protector. It's not to tell her all your doggone business. You sitting up pillow talking these women and they're plotting against you. Tom Brady, man, he, he I would say for having a, a, a marriage life, he prayed it. He played it pretty smart. He played it pretty smart. And we don't know at what point did he say, you know what? I need to get some of this stuff uh, up out of my name. You know, maybe maybe it was his teammates. He learned from his teammates. Man, these women is jumping ship. These women is uh, jumping ship, starting OnlyFans, all kind of crazy stuff. But at least he had some sort of asset protection, damage control risk reduction you know some sort of uh liability insurance you'd be a fool man to 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 watch this to listen to some of the things that i'm saying and go down there and hit yourself to the state when that state has shown over and over that they gravitate towards the side of the woman men are saying man it's unfair it ain't that family courses may never been fair statistically you can have you can be the best father and there's still a 90 percent chance that that woman is going to get the kids statistically. Doesn't matter what she did wrong. You didn't have to do anything wrong. It's already set up like that. In this daytime and hour, men are going to have to adapt to the environment, adapt to the circumstances and navigate around this stuff. A state issued marriage license is nothing more than a savings bond for a woman. And they show you the very thing that I'm saying when they cash out. Taking, uh, you know, part of your income, taking assets, taking the kids, taking parts of your pension, taking, you know, parts of your retirement, any kind of investments. Don't say anybody didn't tell you. 
close to the Yah Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight.